Okay, so welcome to the Streaming Z Community Meeting, 3rd of October 2024. So, uh, to be honest, I went through PRs and issues and even uh, yeah proposals. Uh, I didn't add anything that should be um, seen straight away. I don't know if uh, so the usual uh, kind of uh, PRs and issues traffic and some proposals that are already under review. Uh, I don't see anything else uh, adding anything here. So I'm not sure if this call will be just go straight away to the issues triage. Otherwise, if anyone has any issues to raise, something to discuss, any PRs they want to discuss, just let me know. Seems not. Okay, we are also just eight of us today. So. Okay, so let's move straight to the issues triage. So the first one here, <coughs> yeah, I guess that this issue is open since long time, July. And uh, I guess uh, we were waiting for, yeah, for Kyle and who was suggesting. I think Mikael and Kyle suggested that this should not be needed that the UI can work with SSL, but we never heard back from the user who opened yeah. it. Yeah. So this was the last uh, uh, meeting. Uh, if uh, what are Kyle and Mikkel suggesting uh, means that this one should be closed, maybe we can just close and tag the user again and say reopen if you have any other, I don't know, stuff to say. Yeah, or I guess that sounds reasonable. It. Okay, so triage done. Something like this. Yeah, sounds reasonable. So close with comment. No, close is not planned. Uh, close is not planned, yeah. Okay. Why doesn't change the, the label? Just the icon. Uh, you are always closing it with command. But one is as completed and one is as not planned. But, yeah, but you uh, always do it. You always do it with command. Because command is what you wrote above it. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So the first one is gone. Um, the next one. Okay, so even this one is uh, open since long time. Um, as I said, so it seems that some metrics are not coming right from uh, the bridge. And uh, after my investigation, this is uh, not working since uh, 020, so it's long time. Uh, that it's not actually working fine. And uh, yeah, per my investigation, there was a change in Vertex, uh, how they were exposing uh, the, the path to the... Um, to yeah to the request on the on the rest api interface which was changed including even uh, the query parameters etc so i open an issue i haven't heard back uh, or at least 
uh, I have got some suggestion for changing our code from uh, one of the people, but we were waiting also for, I guess, Julien Bier. Uh, I haven't got any comments yet uh, from Julien. So, uh, yeah, the, the idea here was uh, almost two months ago to waiting for Vertex folks. And um, if there is no fix from them, just, um, you know, a fixing on our side, so to dashboard level. Uh, I would say, if you are okay, I will ping again on that issue. If I don't get uh, anything, uh, yeah, let's say for the next week or so, or two weeks on the next call, uh, we are, can just close it and fix at dashboard level. Or better, not closing, but fixing at dashboard level on our side. Any objection? Okay. Okay. So I will leave uh, as uh, an history action back. Next one, support for Jolokia. So to be honest, I went through this one. Uh, yeah, they are uh, asking for supporting Jolokia. And um, yeah, I kind of agree with Jakub that we cannot kind of support every tool that people can can ask for because of the burden of, uh, you know, maintaining, testing or this kind of stuff. So two weeks ago, we had this answer from uh, the user. So if no one thinks that we should support Jolokia in raising objections, I will just, I don't know, close it as uh, not planned. Okay, it seems not. I don't know, something like this. Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so sorry, uh, Jakub, uh, okay, so this is not a bug, right? I don't know, these labels are a complete mess. 
there's no clear specification what they should mean and that means that everyone expects them to see something else. Should this be a version of Strumze which manages the object? Should that be the version of the operand? Should that be some user's custom version of the deployment? Like, who knows, right? And based on that, you need to manage these labels differently. So yeah, I don't know. I think we should have never gotten into the business of setting them in the first place, but not yeah. sure what's the best to do now. I don't remember exactly, but uh, it seems that we have this working on the other components, so it's not working just on cruise control, Android maker, or Kafka bots, or... I don't know, I would expect that to work or not work the same way everywhere. Yes, I'm not sure what we want to do. We want to investigate why it's not working. <clears throat> so it's it's not something that, of course, we need to fix right now, I would say. But at least uh, leaving it open as, a, I don't know, need help and someone investigating why it's not working. I mean, that doesn't really lead anywhere waiting for someone to investigate something, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to investigate these labels myself because I think that's a waste of time. Yeah, me neither, to be honest. So who do you expect to investigate it? I don't know. I mean, if you just keep it open for someone to investigate, What's the likelihood that it will be still open in two years? There is a good percentage, uh, close to 100%, that it will be still open. So you are just suggesting, suggesting to close. Yeah, I don't know, probably. Yeah. Any objection or any volunteers to this? Maybe not, I can understand it's not something appealing. Sorry, who was talking? Yeah, I just wanted to say, just close it. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, so this one, okay, yeah, so I took a look to this one, um, yeah, it uh, happened to me probably a couple of times on all the testing that I also did for the auto rebalancing stuff, so I think, uh, yeah, that this deserves some more investigation and trying to understand uh, how to fix it, so, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm still waiting for objections. When I don't hear from others, I just continue. Okay. 
Let's take a note of this. Next one. <clears throat> the reconciliation rolling up they don't pod, even if only secret key ref changed. Okay, so this is something around the new user CPI that we added in one of the latest release. And it seems that changing this value is not reflected in the quiz control pod, not rolling. Okay, so it sounds weird to, to Jakub, but uh, yeah, it was tagging uh, Kyle <coughs> because the code looks good. Uh, try to reproducing it. Uh, do we have Kyle on the call today? No. So it's a shame Kyle didn't try it because that would make the triage easier, right? Yeah. Like, I didn't try it, but the code look good to me and just to be clear there is no expectation that the cruise control will roll just because you renamed the secret basically or created the same secret with a new name it should roll if you change for example the username or the user password mm -hmm. and so on so uh like i don't know someone needs to try and dig into that yeah, let me try, uh, let me tag Kyle again uh, and see if he will be able to, to come to this. Ah, now we have the new kid in town, the Kafka Access Operator. So, like to be honest, new, yeah, new I have, for I have the last three years or something like that. Sorry? New for the last three years or something like that. Yeah, but we have got a release, right? Um... So I'm not the the main expert here. I guess that I used the Kafka access operator long time ago last time. So I would rely on you, Jacob, on this. I guess you are asking for more column and you are watching uh, the Kafka. Access well, you probably resource. can make an opinion based on the description or. I so you're saying that the there are no additional columns right now? There is nothing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so... Sorry, there was another one talking and... Yeah, I was talking. Uh, I just wanted to mention that this issue um, looks to me like something uh, we can add help wanted or good to start for uh, some new contributors, for example. Except I'm not sure we know how to do it. So I'm not sure we can help anyone who would want to work on it. You mean we are not sure which kind of uh, columns you want to add or how do it uh, directly in the code? Well, more how to do it in the code. It's using the Java operator framework, so it's not the same as in the strings operator. 
Yeah, okay, makes sense. I mean, maybe Kate knows how to do it, but. And we don't have Kate today. Okay, I would say let's just keep this open, uh, removing this triage and not labeling with anything else. But we agreed that we should have some additional columns. Like, I, I think putting a help wanted label on it, that's not much wrong with that, but I wouldn't label good start something what we don't, we are not necessarily able to provide a quick help with how to solve it. Well, unless Kate will be able to do so, but we don't know. Okay. Um, another one here. Still access over it. <coughs> Sorry. The container images should be published only after the system has passed. Right now, the jobs run in parallel and the images are published before the test complete. Well, yeah, I agree that the images should be published when the pipeline, the entire pipeline finishes, right? And system test was. No objections on this. I think that it's pretty crystal clear. Okay, back to the cluster operator. Yeah, uh, yes, there is another one, and yes, yeah, still again, uh, it, it's easily. Yeah, you can see here some output during an auto rebalancing, where because of these long names, the output is can kind of screwed up, and you cannot understand this true is related to be ready and not to not ready which is not really understandable. So uh, yeah, Jakub, I, I read this one. Uh, I'm not sure we we should go this way, just shortening the, the, the fields, so the columns. Maybe this one will be better, having uh, status rebalancing. As you say, this should be the way, but we have just one condition there, the Kafka rebalance. So it should work. Yeah, I think the situation when it might break possibly in the future is if you, for example, deprecate some fields and have some deprecation warnings and so on. I don't think we have any of that right now in the Kafka rebalance, but no. Yeah, one day you might have something like that. So, but I tried various ways to kind of extract the type in some different ways, but the uh, the JSON path support in the CRDs for this seems to be limited to what you can do. So I would say, at least my opinion, let's go this way. And uh, yeah, if uh, at some point in the future happens that we need to deprecate and we need some warnings, we can revisit it and, and change in a different way maybe back to this one with uh, shrinking the column or I don't know. But I guess that this is even more clear that you can just see, you know, when you are watching and you are scrolling and you see the status evolving. Yeah, like this would work fine as long as there's just one condition. Yeah. Yeah, so for me, we can uh, go this way for now and yeah, and dealing with problems about other conditions later if uh, that would be the case. Um, 
the other one was uh, okay you wanted something to explicitly saying that uh, this Kafka rebalance is a template because we have template in the auto rebalancing so it's not an actual auto rebalancing running but we are reusing today this annotation so it's not uh, simple it's not possible to show the rebalance annotation as a column you can show the annotation as a column but you share the same annotation for different things so you would have there for some rebalance the template value for some you would have the auto approval value for some you will have like the approve or uh, what are the others refresh stop and so on so so yeah, that's but... kind of the the challenge you can get the annotation but you would get all kind of values into it in the other non-template rebalances as well and that that's it something bad from your point of view i mean uh, you know when you approve something uh, when you approve uh, it will be showed as as the value and then it will just disappear because the, op the, the operator removed the approve S the same for refresh and for stop but you can see that someone applied the approve or yourself applied the approve in, in the column the approve the refresh the stop well if nothing else they are completely different values so uh, i'm not sure how you would for example name the column Yeah, actually, the other one are kind of actions. Uh, this one is a kind of I don't know, state to be a template. Otherwise, uh, you are suggesting to have another column, uh, to have a, a different annotation to be a, a template. Yeah, so if you would use separate annotation, it would be easier, right? Because you can just add a column which says template and the rebalances which will have the rebalance template annotation set to true, they would simply list true. And those which are not template, they would have nothing there or false, for example. Mm -hmm. So like that would make it easier to do the columns. Obviously, if we decide to do this, then we have to do it now before the next release otherwise it would be a breaking change yes any other opinions i have no strong opinion to be honest i'm fine with both of course the first one uh, as you say this uh, is the usual hard naming problem uh, yeah the thing is that you need to name it in a way that it's that it's understandable for the users, right? Yeah. Like that's that's the challenge. Yes. For for changing the annotation, like to be honest, I don't know the code, so I have no idea how easy or hard it would be to change it from the code perspective. Well, uh, actually, it was a simple addition. Uh, yeah, to use that same annotation to skip the reconciliation of the Kafka rebalance template. I don't think that that's going to be a hard problem anyway uh, as you said we should do that before the next release so i can take care of this yeah like if we want to change that then like the columns they don't matter that much but the annotation name that has to be changed now or never basically yes okay so from my perspective uh, if i yeah don't hear any other objections I will go with this solution for the first uh, kind of problem. And uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's go with this one for the second problem. While I'm typing, uh, if anyone has any other objections, let me know.
By the way, you should, of course, use it without the typos. <laughs> but I assume that's clear. Yeah. Okay, this is a mistake here. By the way. Okay, so uh, I will assign this to me so that we can have uh, this one done before the next release. Okay, let's move on, on uh, back to the access operator. As we know, we have an Elm chart, we should use it to generate the installation file to make sure that they are, they are kept in sync. Uh, sorry, Jacob, what do you mean? You are muted. That's what we have for the operator and for all the, uh, well, not all the, some of the other things that the installation YAMLs are generated from the Helm chart. And that's why we make sure that if something is added somewhere, it's done on both places. Ah, right. Okay. Yes. I think we should go the same way. Yeah. Yes. It's more tracking than suggestion. What's happening? Ah, okay, because page two didn't exist anymore. So where we were, uh, this one, um, so this one now. No, sorry. Uh, no, this one. This is a different one, still Elm chart, but different, yes. The end charge should be integrated into the release process. We should copy into repository loop. We should push query. We should produce the charge with artifact. Okay, I think that's the same as we already have for uh, our core operator. Guys, I am always typing, writing, and uh, not asking, assuming that if you have any objections, you just talk to me. I'm happy that someone else is enjoying the silence. <laughs> being well, stupid, talking to himself. <laughs> well, at least uh, me, you, and uh, Jakub, we are talking, and anyway, I, I'm just go going through, right? And if someone wants to stop me, I will just stop. Um, silence means agreement, so. Just refresh again. I don't like to have the last, the old one. Okay, so um, this one. Check the release file against a uh, still uh, access operator, yes. We should introduce the prevention mechanics to the access operator as we have in many operators to check the unwanted change. Okay, because we have someone, uh, some uh, users sometimes doing the change in the wrong directory. So I see that we have a volunteer. So let me assign this to the volunteer. We can remove it's triaged. And I have still the wrong copy paste text.
Okay. Remove Mirror Maker 2 extension from images. Yes. Uh, deprecated in 2022, right? And of course, yeah, the proposal said that it was going to be removed at 032, so we missed a little bit of releases doing that. Um, Iago, you are suggesting to wait 045 because there are other breaking changes. Uh, that, that's totally fine with me. 46, not 5. Ah, uh, 46, sorry. Yeah, it's not that time. I, I don't know English, it's just that I don't know numbers. Rack awareness tests should not rely on the internal files. Internal implementation detail. It relies on internal implementation or racking is passed to Kafka container and now it's loaded. Oh, okay, because it's looking at the rack ID, which depends on uh, yeah our implementation in the operator. Yeah, agree, that should be fixed. And uh, we can also thank uh, Lukash. Okay, last one. Yeah, so uh, yeah, in the in the in the past we were generating the configuration um, through the, the, the bash script of things. Now we have in our Kafka brokers and controller everything in config map, but uh, we don't have this for connect and mirror maker too. So I guess that having a consistent, so I, I agree with this. I mean, having a consistent way of uh, building and saving the configuration is better. So moving even connect and mirror maker to choose config map, uh, it's fine with me. Now here, um, yeah, we can have an help wanted or maybe it's something that we can plan or uh, I don't know how much is a good start. I think help wanted would be fine. Okay. It's definitely not a good start. Okay, so let me just refresh a little bit, but I guess that uh, we have this open right and we have this one writing for Kyle. Okay, so we are at the end of the issues triage. Any other business? Otherwise I can just give you 5-15 minutes back. It seems not. So thank you very much for joining and uh, yeah, see you in two weeks. Thanks. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, Thanks for Bye. Bye. Bye.